welcome to Smokey Stephen Mark. I'm Mark. I'm Steve. Welcome or welcome back, y'all. Oh. oh yes, it's uh, a time it's Halloween Eve. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I do too. Mm -hmm. Unseasonably warm Halloween Eve here, very in northeastern Pennsylvania. We're often in snows on Halloween. Um, so the kids are going to be loving it. No coats over costumes this year. No. So no. do it up. <laughs> oh, I was sweating all day. It was it was warm and sunny. It was really beautiful out. It yeah, was. It was nice. um, but uh, gosh, yeah, just, it, it's odd. Like, it's really odd. Yeah. Well, talk, oh. it'll, it'll drop. It's just nice. This will be, I think, the last of it. It would have to be. Yeah. Unless we have a warm Thanksgiving. Well, November yeah. is Friday. November. Like, I'm 80 yeah. degrees in November, but it's I not know. unheard of. Every year it just gets more and more strange. I guess not. So keep the candy cool so it don't melt. Yes, definitely. So how are our... Some, I was going to say Smokies. I think we could say, how are our Spookies today? Spookies. Doing good? You have a good week so far? Y'all ready for the big day tomorrow? It comes Ooh, quick. It does. We're ready. We're it's ready. Like, yeah. We have people. We, we have didn't candy. get candy. We got some candy, but not a lot. I don't think we're going to get too many. I don't think we're needing many, so just a little candy should be enough. Yeah. But I don't want to have nothing if a kid comes. If a kid comes, yeah. Give them like a handful of ketchup packets or something. I know, like, right? I we do know. have a big bin of that. You yeah. want some soy sauce or <laughs> oh, an old right. Arby's hot sauce packet? Or wing Talk butter. about like yeah. just some. Ointment. Here's a bunch of hot sauce for you. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh my it's god. Better a handful of pennies. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, today um, we are going to go. Um, we're going to show you our new car. We Yay! haven't done that yet. Oh my gosh. Right. And then we're going to take the car. We're going to go around and take a look at some neighborhood uh, holiday lights, Halloween edition. Spooky. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Some of the neighbors do. Go some of them, them. It's not as big as Christmas, but some of them do a lot right. of ones who do. So. Yeah. Right. And it's like. I don't know. It's pretty nostalgic to me because another tradition we had, I've shared that at Christmas, on Christmas night, you know, we would all get in the car and go look at the, the lights, yeah. you know, the Christmas lights. Um, well, on uh, we would do the same thing. The day before Halloween, we would do the same thing. We would hop in the mm -hmm. car and go around and look oh. at But, you know, back then it was a little different. Like, yeah. it wasn't like it is now, you know. It was all, like, nostalgic decor. Like, everybody remembers the cutouts, like the jointed skeleton. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, uh, and the... I don't know what they're called, but the 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 melted popcorn ones. You know, it's like melted plastic. Oh, yeah. I'll drop a picture here of like that. Yeah. Oh, and the the big plastic ghosts mm -hmm. and the plastic pumpkins. Yeah, there weren't like these fancy LED lights and moving, uh, you know, yeah. or, or things like that. But it was so um, no, we had so nice giant plastic pumpkins where you always cut your finger trying to get the bulb and the cord yes. inside of it. And then get it out. Yeah. And then the person next to you has a better idea of how it should be done, but they don't offer to help. <laughs> right? Sorry, I just had a moment there. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Anyway. I wonder who that was. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't me. No, it's... these these predate you. Yeah. So, oh yeah. I, I would have had to have been younger. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so yeah, we're gonna do oh and a box came today. Yes, yeah, so we got a box. Yeah, so I have it open, but I didn't look in it. Like I have it open. Um but I look! Oh, kitty kitty! Who is this from? Imitations. These are their little hash brownies that comes with a catnip right inside. Dear Steve and Mark, I hope Oscar and Bandit enjoy. These are also my kitty's favorite <laughs> treats. They go absolutely ah, I love it. over, over them. them. Lots of love uh, to you all. LA. Thank you, LA. LA, thank you. The you kitties, thank found you also. them. Yay. We uh, cannot find them. No store around this area no. has them. And it was very suddenly. I know. They were their favorites. We'd get them, no thinking, yeah. you know, for years. And they even had the smaller not. little packets at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Um, but Giant, even PetSmart, yeah. I thought, oh, you know, they have everything. They had them, but they were out. Even the Giant one, like, there's one that's even bigger than this one. Mm -hmm. That's usually, they carry a lot of that stuff in yeah. bulk. You know, they didn't even have those. So, oh. L.A., they are going to love. They will. Oh, and they're, gonna, and they're all gone. They now. won't know. They won't know. <laughs> Thank they you. They won't know it was you, but we will. Thank you. How sweet. Oh, my gosh. That was so nice. Oh, and what a surprise. Oh, I can't wait. I wish they were here. I'd give them one. <laughs> they were here, but you know how they are. And uh, and then tomorrow for the big day, we will have finally our costume show for you. And hopefully with no editing problems. It's It's been working today, so I think everything has been fixed. No editing problems. What are you doing? Please what is no this? editing problems. <laughs> because it's, it's causing me stress. I know it does. It's, it's frustrating. It's just how our process is. Yeah. The time where there's lags 
Oh. It, it's not the end of it. It's not like when this long chunk is done, it's over. That's when some part of it starts. Yeah. So, right. Um, so the way the chain goes, most times it's fine. Oh, yeah. I don't start filming mm -hmm. at like 10 p.m. But when you have something like that that has like all these tiny, small video clips, yeah. you know, you edit them together and it's not hard. It's actually kind of fun. No, you like it. But when there's a problem, oh, there's is it, you know, you, 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 you cut it, move it, there's a delay. And then it moves. Oh, mm -hmm. on every single one. It's so frustrating. Yeah, and then it doesn't save. Oh, no, no. But anyway, it's supposed to be all finished. So we'll have that tomorrow. And well, it's going to be a lot of fun, too. We have a lot of new costumes. We brought a couple out from past years. To resurrect. Yeah, yeah, to resurrect. And of course, you know, the wolf will have to make a little comeback because that's kind of the underlying story there. You know, especially that uh, yeah. that pesky one. Mm -hmm. that pesky wolf there. <laughs> it's good looking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It all healed. Yeah. yeah. It healed the next day. I mean, you know. How about that? <laughs> well, we know I'm all cured now, so no worries about that. Yeah. No, I mean. But, uh, so, actually, you know what? We haven't talked about the wolf in a minute. No, not really. You know, the werewolves, it's so funny. You know, I like to look into things. Well, you know, the legend of the werewolf, I mean, it goes back thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And the interesting thing about it, is it like crosses cultures and countries and time spaces too? Mm -hmm. It's it's fascinating. They all yeah. have like their own kind of version of it. Like all at once, everyone had their own version of the word. Yeah. And they but they haven't like seen each other. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's yeah. so so interesting. Like the pyramids. Like they were just happening all they over just the place. Happening all yeah. yeah, right, right. So I thought it might be a lot of fun to take a look at the legend of the werewolf. The legend of the werewolf is quite prevalent throughout history and can be traced back to early Greek mythology and even earlier. While werewolves have been made popular in both literature and film, there are many real accounts behind the stories too. And the other interesting thing about the legend is that its origins come from many places, not just one. The legend of Gilgamesh is believed to be the oldest form of prose known in Western literature. It also tells of a woman who turned her lover from a human to a wolf, which also believed to be one of the earliest known records of mentioning anything close to a werewolf. And the next mention of a werewolf is where you find the term lichen. Still, as with many legends throughout history, the legend of the lichen would soon appear in another place. And that would be in Nordic folklore, with the tale of a father and son who stumble upon some unusual wolf pellets. According to legend, these pellets could turn people into wolves for a total of 10 days. This legend from the saga of the Volsugs is likely the closest thing to a modern day telling of a werewolf. Those familiar with werewolf lore might recognize the legend of Lycion. Now, Lycion was the son of Pelascus, who, uh, he made a fatal flaw in serving Zeus with the remains of a boy who was sacrificed. According to the legend, Zeus didn't turn Lycion into a wolf, but turned his sons into wolves instead. Now this could have very well been the official starting point for the legends surrounding werewolves and wolf-like humans. Well, there's obviously no evidence of actual human-to-wolf transformations. There are stories of brutal encounters with humans claiming to have wolf powers. These uh, werewolves were actually infamous serial killers who claimed to be otherwise. Two of the most infamous cases were Michel Verdun and Pierre Burgot, who claimed to be able to transform into wolves in 1521. Upon their heinous confessions, they were burned at the stake, as was customary with any alleged mythical creature during that time. So, could there be any truth to the half-man, half-beast? Well, if there are people out there who legitimately hunt for Bigfoot, then why not werewolves? <laughs> I guess we'll just have to find a way to separate the truth from myth. But werewolves continue to dominate pop culture regardless of the reason. Although this concept started centuries and centuries ago, it's always interesting to see where folklore takes us. From Twilight to Wednesday and to the Wolfman. 
Werewolves are an intriguing phenomenon that continues to spark people's creativity, imagination, and fear. Oh, I just love all things spooky like that. Werewolves, vampires, all that. I just, I, I just, I always did. I don't know why. I don't know. Vampires look a little different now than they used to. They do. They're they all sparkly do. and gay. Yeah, now. they are. Like Twilight, like they were, you know. I yeah. mean, Dracula with a big collar. And <laughs> and they, you know, but anyway, yeah. y'all, um, uh, rewind a little bit. Um, you know, we had an accident and the car got totaled. We did get a new car. Mm -hmm. And, uh. Would you like to tell them about it? I have all kinds of like pictures and stuff. We'll show you. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you a little bit. Now, yeah. we, did, we did go through Carvana for the funding and for picking out the car. And at a future date, if anyone's interested, um, I can do a little review of the Carvana process, how that went, what was good about it, what wasn't. Um, we completed the process. The car's here. Yeah. Like a Steve will try it or something? Yeah, kind of like a Steve will try oh, it. That'll be cool. You know, I'll give you the quick review of like how it, how it shakes down. Because yeah. a lot of people are like, you got your car through them. How does that work? Yeah. I'm like, my quick review, we spoke to only two people the whole time. The guy who dropped the car off and then somebody was validating my routing number or something. Mm -hmm. That was it. So, um, got the car online. It's a little hatchback. Yeah. I wanted a little hatchback. Right. My first car ever was a little hatchback and it was blue. It was a Dodge Omni. Same kind of style car that Son of Sam drove. Oh. And it looked like a prop from the movie Backdraft by the time, <laughs> were, by the time it was crushed by a cube, into a cube by the city of Philadelphia. So, since then, I have had, well, no car for years because I was a little bit busy, you know, doing other things where you shouldn't be driving. And then I didn't start driving again for like seven years after that. So then I got a little like Chevy Prism, I think, with like 189,000 miles on it. We took it to Indiana, it yeah. was all sorts of fun. And then that one just died. And then got a Buick and it was older and the it was big, sweet. The big Buick, I love that one. Yeah, yeah, that was a beast. And then it died. And then we got the SUV, the Rav. The Rav. And then and there was an I accident. totaled it. So looking at this, we had to go with what my finances were, what we got back from insurance, which wasn't bad at all. No, I was wasn't. surprised we got an illegal amount of money from. We did. I mean, it was almost equal to what we to what we paid for it we used paid for it used four years ago. But they did the assessment was, with all the stuff, so yeah. we had a chunk to put down, and then it was well, how much do you want to get? So everything was a discussion of well, do we want to get you know new, new, new? Do we want to go low mileage? Right. Do we want to go hybrid? Like all the decisions. So we ended up landing with. Um, a Nissan Versa. Mm -hmm. There's a few in the series. It's not at the top. It's not at the bottom. Um, it's a little white hatchback. It's a 2016. It it's perfectly in the driveway. It does. <laughs> I do like it. I like it a lot. I, I was I you know I I like SUV. I like big cars or SUVs or something like that. But mm -hmm. we compromised on one in between. Yeah. You know, like this. It was and, like this um, or a Kia Soul. Yeah. Or something in that vein. Was yeah. What I'm looking at. And uh, the interior is nice. Uh, the paint. It's pearl white. I just mm -hmm. love it. It's not like metallic, no. it, but it does reflect in the sun. It's really cool looking. Mm -hmm. And I do think that it has a sporty look to it. It does. I do think so. We have a couple neighbors. One has a Civic, a Honda, and it's exact. It's identical, except it's yeah. black, I'm sure. Four cylinders. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost the same. It's a smaller little go kart. So we're not talking about we're not going to go zero to 120 no. on the interstate. Um, but I suspect we'll keep up going uphill. <laughs> we um, do. We took do. a minute to get used to the transmission because I always mm -hmm. have automatic, and this is a continuous variable transmission. So you, yeah. you put your foot down, there's no No, yeah. it just goes faster and faster as you go. Yeah. You know how many cars I've probably driven with that? I don't know, but all of a sudden I was aware this one had it. And so I was like trying yeah. to pay attention to it. Yeah. But that seems to work too. I, it gets, I don't know, 40 miles a gallon. It gets great mileage. Yeah, yeah I do hear that they, you can literally run them in the ground. That's the thing. Good. Well, we were specifically not looking for an American car because American yeah. cars break. Yeah. And you can, these other four miles, you can drive them and so you can get to over 200,000 miles on a car like that. Mm -hmm. So when we bought this one, it was 66,000, 66? which wasn't too bad. I no. think it was part of a rental fleet, if I'm recalling it correctly. I think so. Because there's a lot when you go on there looking, it's like, wait, I've seen that car before. It's kind of like Uber mm -hmm. meets. Like if you, you could go to the lot and buy the car from them, if you go through Carvana, you can use Carvana's financing and they'll yeah. try to get you the deal and this and that. So it's a clever system the way it works. But the car's been good. You've taken it on the highway a couple times. Mm, I have. I haven't yep. driven it much. <laughs> sure. No, actually, it's the same as it was before. I mean, I have to drive to work. Yeah. And he walks. I walk. Like, so. around the block. And, I've uh, driven it a few times in the last two months. Yeah. I guess. We haven't even, I mean, we haven't gone on any trips or anything. No. Um, but, uh, Not farther than like 20 miles. Right. So. Um, but, but yeah, we're excited about it. Mm -hmm. And it is a lot more spacious than you would think. I, I was shocked. He's 5'9". I'm six foot flat. 
I fit in this car. Yesterday for work at my office, we have a fleet that we use for traveling and they're Volkswagens, they're Jettas. I have more leg room in this Nissan Versa than there is in that Jetta. Yeah. And it's like, it's just so much. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And the seats collapse down in the back. So like a hatchback. Dude, can even, yeah, can you be better? So yeah. if we had kids or dogs, maybe we would have thought practically to get something a little larger. Maybe a little larger. Or if we had a moving yeah. company. But like, you know, it's it's just us. Yeah. We live in a city. We put around. Yeah. We get weather here. So we'll see what winter's like. Yeah. You know, it's got anti-lock, tire traffic, mm -hmm. whatever that shit is. Mm -hmm. So um, we're, um, we're pleased with it. So yeah. And I, it's been, I don't even know how long. I can't believe we didn't show it to you. I know. It's been a while. <laughs> and I didn't want to have a $480 car paid. Yeah, right. Right. So, right. hence we went on the uh, more frugal side of things. Yeah. It's one way we can live below our means and not be <laughs> spending excessively. True, true. It's one way to do it. Yeah. So, and this car's in my name, so it'll... Yeah, this one's in your... So it's not going to get wrecked. <laughs> the one before that was in your name, this one was in mine, and then this one's yeah. in yours. Well, after so this one, you, you get the next one. I get the next one. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> well, why don't we put that car to use? I think that's a good idea. You want to get in and go take a look at some some Halloween decorations? Ooh, yeah. I want to see what's good. out there. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll hop in the car and go um, hit the neighborhood and see what Halloween displays are out there. And um, I think we'll do that and, and let that like take us out for the evening. What do you um, think? We'll take Sound you out good? with that. Yeah. So yeah. thanks so much for watching tonight and definitely... Definitely, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Costume right away, oh, yes, show. on Halloween, and I'm kind of happy it's on Halloween because that's when we used to do it in past years. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so you know, so, that's good. Well, so, yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks yes, for watching. Please absolutely. do subscribe. Uh, hit the notification yeah. bell. You get alerts when we have new videos and go live. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Contact info is below. Thanks, and we will catch up with you tomorrow. We will, everybody. So here we are. Enjoy 2024. Halloween lights, Scranton, Pennsylvania.